This DIY IoT power relay based on the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module can be used to control the high power devices like for example water pumps, air conditioners, heaters and other high ampere loads. The best thing about this IoT power relay is that it can be controlled from two different sources. The ESP32 power supply PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website you can find a link in the description. The best thing about this IoT power relay is that it can be controlled from anywhere around the world using the Wi-Fi technology. So it really doesn't matter how far you are. If you have the internet connection, you can turn on and turn off the power relay. The cell phone application is designed in Blink, which I will explain in a few minutes. The same power relay can also be controlled over the Bluetooth using the cell phone application designed in Android Studio. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to design your own Android cell phone application using Android Studio. I will provide a link in the description. For the demonstration purposes, I will be controlling a water pump using this IoT power relay. To control the water pump over the Wi-Fi connection, all you need is open your IoT Power Relay cell phone application and start controlling the water pump. This application should only be used if you are far away. If you are at home or near to the Power Relay, then you can use your Bluetooth application to control the water pump. This also eliminates the risk of electric shock as there is no need to physically operate the switch. The IoT power relay can be used to control the water pump without any risk. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. I have been using these small relays for controlling light bulbs, fans and other low power devices but these relays fail to work when used for controlling high ampere loads like water pumps, ACs, heaters and so on. This is the power relay which I will convert into an IoT power relay using the ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module. This is an SPDT. 12 volt 100 ampere power relay. This relay has a total of 5 contacts. These are the two coil contacts where we connect 12 volt DC to energize the relay coil. This is the common contact. This is the normally closed and this one is the normally open contact. To operate this relay you need 12 volts. As the relay coil has no polarity so it really doesn't matter which side of the relay coil is connected with the ground or 12 volts. To control this power relay using a controller, you will need to design a driver circuit which can be used to control its output contacts using an electrical signal. You have a couple of choices. You can use a relay driver like ULN 2003 or you can use a transistor as a driver. In this tutorial, we will use a transistor to control this power relay. Now the question is how we know which value transistor should be used. Well, it's very simple. First, we find the relay coil resistance using a digital multimeter. As you can see, the relay coil resistance is 54.2 ohms. Now using the formula V equals IR, we can find the current needed to energize the relay coil. So we need at least 221 milliamps to energize the relay coil. Now we can use any general purpose PNP or NPN transistor whose collector current is greater than 
221 milliamps. If you look at the data sheet of the 2N2222 NPN transistor, you will find that this transistor can bear up to 800 milliamps, which is perfect. 2N2222 NPN transistors are low cost and can be easily found in any electronic shop. Now let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. ESP32 based RD power relay circuit diagram is very simple. Let's first start with the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This is the same 5 volt regulated power supply I've been using for the Note MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The reason I selected the ESP32 module is that it has a built-in Bluetooth module. J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module and the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of ESP32 module. Currently I have connected 4 relays. All the relays used in this project are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. As you can see the connections of all the relays are exactly the same. One side of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the other side of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now to control these relays you simply need to connect these 10k resistors with the ESP32 I.O. pins. In this project I am using the GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I'll be using same pins in the programming. A neutral wire from the 110 or 220 volt AC is connected directly with the neutral point of the load while the live wire is connected with the loads through these relays. This is the ESP32 power supply board manufactured by the PCB company which I designed in my previous tutorial. I'll provide a link in the description. As you can see this board has 12 volts which I will use for the relay. I have this area which I can use for soldering other electronic components. Finally I soldered the 2N2222 NPN transistor and completed my connections as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now I can connect the two coil contacts of the relay using the block terminal. This is how the IoT power relay looks after completing all the connections. Now let's make the blink application, follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music.
before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. The purpose of this code is to control the IoT power relays using the Bluetooth application and the IoT supported application designed in Blink. Out of these four relays, I'll be using only one power relay. If you want, you can increase or decrease the number of relays used. Each relay is controlled using a strong password. The four power relays are connected with the ESP32, GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27 as explained in the circuit diagram. This is the authentication code which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Inside the white set of function, I activated the serial communication using the serial.begin function which is used for the debugging purposes. I set all the relays as output using the pin mode function. Inside the white loop function, we have the blink.run function and some code that monitors if the ESP32 module has received any data through the built-in Bluetooth module. The received data is compared with the different passwords. If the received data matches with any of the already stored passwords, the desired power relay is turned on or turned off. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.